So as you probably already know, uh, on September 2024, we've got this uh, Gorod post on their official uh, Twitter account, okay? And this literally uh, blew away social media, okay? Uh, so a lot of people didn't care about this, a lot of people uh, did care about this. And as a result of this, two main forks appeared, Red Dot and uh, Blasium, okay? So in reality, at the very beginning of these forks, at something like on something like September 2024, October 2024, even uh, November 2024, they were kind of popular, okay? Or or there was there were a lot of people talking about it and all that. Uh, but well, see, since uh, for a lot of months, I haven't really heard a lot about these engines, okay? So. Uh, let's discover together what is the current situation with these forks, whether they are or um, they, they are not anymore popular, if there's been some update uh, or not, because for example here in the Red Dot official website, the sorry, um, Twitter account, the, the last thing that we have, like pinned here, is from Red Dot 4.3 and Godot is about to uh, release uh 4.5 okay super close to be released so uh i want to dig deeper into this once again this is just my opinion what i'm gonna be able to see in this quick, quick video so if you have more information about this you're even a red dot or blasting moderator or whatever it is and you have a different opinion or i didn't check something out just let me know in the comments so I believe that the best uh, way to know where this is going uh, is by basically clicking on their uh, official website uh, because in Twitter, well, as far as I have seen, there isn't like a lot of updates. Okay, I have actually been in the in the in the last month following here their Twitter accounts, checking what they were doing, but I didn't really find like in what they were working on. Neither Blasium nor Reddit, at least. Uh, like if you scroll down here sometimes you don't find what they are working on well but here we, we do see something for example uh from blasium um and yeah well here on blasium we have like uh a set of ideas from our upcoming memory and tic-tac-toe game so blasium does seem that we have had some things going on but this is what we currently have uh so well this is red dot okay right now in the official website, while well, we scroll down, we find the different options that have been released. So let's actually view all the posts. So we had the latest update on 24 June. So it was something like uh, one month ago. And it was Red 4.4 Alpha 2. So this is not even beta. But well, there we got it. Um, so yes, we have something like a new version every month or every two months something like that yes it seems so so for example here are some posts that i haven't personally checked out is may update rex read the script and roadmap so let's actually check this out so uh, they are introducing rex engine so as far as i understand here is the same thing as Red Dot experimental which would be like the latest version of the engine or something like that i know it's not pretty clear here at least for me which is basically meant to provide uh, these features or even these other ones and then they are changing like the name of the language from GDScript to RDScript uh, so basically they're going to rebuild GDScript uh, they are going to be exploring compiling scripts into faster formats uh, which means better game performance so these things are not bad at all of course uh, but well, here we have some some things uh, like w what are the goals, and, and here we actually have like what Red Experimental was. I didn't really remember this, uh, which was basically a way for the developers to build and test new features before bringing them over to Red Dot. So it's basically that it seems. So well, here we have like the the roadmap, okay. Um, so once again, I I already gave my opinion on 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 these forks a lot of times. So I, I don't I don't think that what they are going to be adding is bad or good because a lot of these things I don't really understand what they are to be honest. So uh, I believe that they are focusing more on maybe more intermediate or advanced actually advanced developers, okay? Uh because I don't know, I've been seeing Google for four or five years now. Uh and there is like a lot of things here that I don't yet know. Uh so I don't I don't really understand a lot of these things. But anyway, this is the approach that they have taken, so it is what it is, I guess. Um, so it seems that they have been doing some stuff, uh, Reddit forms, status announcements, 
uh so they they have been doing stuff okay i, I don't want to say they have been doing nothing okay but but well what they have been able to add is not a maybe a game changer for somebody to change from goaded to red at least for for a lot of people i mean so for some animation markers yes they are okay i i'm not gonna tell you they are bad uh tile editing i know color picker upgrades of course these are general updates that are gonna be good okay i'm not saying that they are they are not good um but well i don't think and the main reason why they have been able to survive in the long term is that okay it was like the momentum of people super annoyed because of this post they were trying some alternatives but when they saw that of course these alternatives could not keep up with the goaded engine development pace well people directly switched back to goaded that's what i can say at least on my end um so this is it for it as you can see like the situation at least for me didn't change much they they keep up with the pace that they are able to to have they are doing new stuff that's important i think uh but well i believe that people indeed have lost interest because previously we were having like news all the time about what is being developed the lot of youtube videos lot, lots of expos about what is going on and right now like that hype let's say for these folks have a uh, has dramatically dramatically decreased okay for obvious reasons okay that i've already mentioned and in terms of last i believe maybe that we do have more stuff uh going on okay so um first of all here to look at what they have been doing uh so we actually have to go here to the blog okay and here's where we actually find like everything so the latest post here is from May 21, I believe. They even have more stuff in their Discord server or Twitter account. I don't this is not like a super deep video. This is just from what I can see. So Blastream has also, I believe, kind of been focusing on more advanced uh, developers, providing uh, stuff for uh, advanced developers. I know SQLite module. Uh, they, they also had um, these Blastream services SDK. Um, or um, I don't know how it was called, like something to build uh, multiplayer games supposedly easier. I, I say supposedly because I have not tried out personally, but anyway. Um, so for example here, Blasm Lobby Service. Lobby provides a free lobby service for managing lobbies for games. With features such as creating lobbies with or without password, joining lobbies, etc. So they have kind of been following along with that. So here we have uh, Blastium Automation, Build and Deploy, so let's really see that. What they have actually been doing is that they have created like some playable games, such as a Hangam game. Um, and while they have been kind of also uh, improving Blastium as they were creating this game, because they were creating the game and maybe they thought, oh, we could improve this or that, and they were basically doing that. We even have here a new uh, color button node. So once again, this could be maybe some kind of improvement, but once again, I believe that the main problem that a lot of people like didn't like it when when I was mentioning it um, is the fact that yes, these these features are amazing. Okay, they are super interesting. Okay, but uh, people trust more Godot. Okay, and of course, Godot has a way a way more resources to provide constant updates. Okay. And they, they already know what people want and what people don't know, you know, there's like a whole team here uh, integrating the features and all that. Um, so, of course, I don't know, like starting a new engine or trying to start a new engine with constant updates, knowing what the audience wants, it's not an easy job, okay? Uh, I can completely understand that. So, uh, what I like is that uh, besides if you like go dot red dot blast sim, whatever it is, if you are with me, in terms of the opinion that these folks are good, but in the long term, they're just gonna maybe not disappear, but there's gonna be less and less hype over time. Whether you agree or not with me on that, uh, what is obvious is the fact that it's very complicated for them to keep up to, to the pace of Godot. Uh, but what is good actually about this is that the Godot community is there, is present, and um, it's maybe a type of community that um, is able to kind of get together 
okay, or at least some parts of them, and create something good if they don't like the if they don't like the engine. Because with Godot, what you have is exactly that freedom to do whatever you want with the engine. So this would not be possible in in other engines. So that's something that I can say. Okay, it is at least interesting. Let's say let's use that let's use that word. Um, but anyway, I would really love to. Uh, Take a look at your comments, okay, what do you think about Red Dot, Blastium, Gorod Fox in general, whatever it is. And I'm gonna be reading you um, right there. Bye bye and have a nice day.